Good morning. I am out here in the Indian Peaks Wilderness today, and my objective is gonna be South Aparejo Peak, climbing up the Skywalker Kular. It's right after seven right now. I just parked at the 4th of July trailhead, and I'm gonna be heading up the 4th of July trail until I basically get to the base of South Aparejo Peak, and then I'm gonna be heading up that Kular to the summit. So far so good, but overall the one thing I did forget to mention is today is a Tuesday and I do have to get to some meetings later at work. So that's one more thing that's putting a fire under me to get moving fast up here along with these warming conditions. I debated a lot what time to get here to have the Kular um, for perfect corn on the way down and firm enough on the way up and we'll see how that pays off here shortly. There's our first glimpse of Skywalker Kular here on South Apareo Peak. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning. The snow conditions feel perfect right now. I'm glad to see the Kular in the shade for the ascent, and I'm hoping the sun pops out when I'm halfway or three quarters up um, and warms up the snow for the descent. What are you looking at, buddy? Yeah, you get out of here. Oh, rascal. I just hit my transition point here where I'm going to bust out the ski boots and get everything ready for the climb. And the Kular looks like a beast. I'm a little intimidated because I think the top of this Kular hits around 60 degrees, which I believe is the steepest snow climb I've done. So we'll see how things look and feel when I get up there. The crampons are on, the marmots are out, and I'm gonna start heading up the Kular now. The sun is just starting to hit the snow, so conditions look like they should be pretty good, but definitely gonna keep an eye out on softening, watch out for rock fall and any kind of wet slide activity. But let's get moving. I am right here where the Kular narrows down on a safe rock band and I'm about to get out the ice axe, get a little bit more water and a snack. You can see this big wet slab avalanche that came down in the last couple days, which is never a great thing to see. And it's gonna definitely make the choke of this Kular ski less than ideal, but I'm hoping it's just soft enough that it's not too, too bad. I'm right in the middle of the choke here. 
It had a good freeze last night. It's very solid, which is good for the way up, but the way down, this section is just gonna be miserable. Getting up here right before the steepest section. This is where I get to choose the three exits. Straight up is the steepest, that's Princess Leia. To the right is Han Solo that I think you have to climb some rock. And then there's an exit to the left that's a little less steep. So hard to show the slope in a video, especially with these wide angled lenses. But getting an easy 40 degrees here, right below Princess Leia, and I think I'm gonna just kind of cruise up that way right now. The snow conditions look good. I got my second axe out and I'm kind of just charging up. Just topping out of Skywalker Kular here on the Princess Leia exit. What a fantastic climb. It's a little spicy because we have this cornice behind me that still has a little bit of snow left to give. But overall, it was amazing. The steepness never bothered me too much with the two tools, which is good to see. And I put in a great booter for these guys below me. But I'm gonna hop up here to the summit really fast. I think it's only a few hundred feet. Enjoy the views and get back for that meeting. Summit time. Woo. Wow. Talk about some epic views. So lucky with the weather. It's the only clear day we've had for quite some time. And I think I'm really making the most of it. We've made it to South Aparejo Peak. This summit sits at 13,400 feet or so, and we got an absolutely stunning day up here. The views in every direction are incredible, but it is warming up and I've got things to do and work to get to. So I'm gonna quickly be taking off the crampons, getting the skis on and heading down. The only decision is if I'm gonna be going down the Princess Leia Kular or one over to the right. And it's really gonna depend on where those three or four guys behind me are.
guys have a great day. Enjoy. Those edges are sharp. Well, the top was almost rotten. Yeah, that's like well, that, that little bit of snow coming down. Completely rotten up top. Rock hard in here. <laughs> little bit of everything. Yeah, enjoy. Have a great day, man. Made him down to the bottom of Skywalker Kular here, and conditions were variable to say the least. Had some corn up top before the coulars and made the big mistake of going on the skier's right kind of easier exit versus doing Princess Leia. And that got the sun first and was completely rotten. Some wet slide stuff came down there. So it definitely was not ideal. But I was so worried about those people being kind of in the choke in Princess Leia that went a more unsafe route. So definitely a lesson learned there. And I got back and the marmots decided to chew my shoes to shit. So. Going to be walking out in the ski boots today. Overall, awesome coulard. Conditions were tricky. The way that this coulard gets sun sometimes and the middle is icy, I think it's almost impossible to get it all good skiing unless you had some blower powder. I'm going to cruise back to the car. I've made it back to the car. The bad news is I'm gonna be late for my meeting. The good news is it was well worth it. Skywalker Kular is an awesome climb and the skiing had its moments. The big takeaways are that being on that skier's right hand side and that rotten snow was no good and I should have come down Princess Leia or stayed more in the protected areas that were cold longer and that you cannot trust marmots to not eat literally anything. So I'm going to need some new shoes now. But overall, if you're going to be attempting this from the 4th of July trailhead to the base of the Kular took me one hour. I left at 7 a.m. today. And then the climb itself was two hours um, to the summit from the base of the Kular. I was planning on dropping at 1030, but I actually dropped around 1115. I think it was all the filming stuff took a little longer than I anticipated. But truly epic day in the mountains, really breathtaking line. And if you appreciate this filming that made me late to my meeting, please give me a like and subscribe. This is a new journey for me, but it's been really fun. And that support means absolutely everything to me. And maybe one day it'll help me buy a new pair of shoes because I need them. But thank you so much for watching. A great adventure. And I will see you in the next one.